My dogs are having like an epic battle. I'm sure you can hear them. I think they do just about. <laughs> It. I just thought every time we film now, they decide to have an epic battle. <laughs> well, Murphy's trying to get Anubis to play with him, so he's like growling at her and like throwing his, his chew toy at her. And she just laid down. <laughs> She's playing now. <laughs> she doesn't growl though, like he growls, yeah. but she doesn't. Epic dog battle. And Megan in the restricted section. And today we're going to do our October and spooky reading challenge wrap up. Yes, and we are going to do that while we are drinking this green flash. Um, it's GFB. It's a blonde ale. From who? I think Green Flash is a brewing company, oh, actually. Is? Yep, so it's bottled by Green Flash Brewing Company oh. in California. Crisp and refreshing. <laughs> so I didn't do like super hot in October. I only read three books. I did, this is the best I have done reading wise in a long time. I read six books. Damn. One was an audiobook. Damn. One I listened to. And one I kind of mostly read in uh, September, but I finished it in October. <laughs> it counts. <laughs> Yeah. So why don't you go ahead and you go first then. I'll start with the books that were not for the spooky reading challenge that I read. Um, so the first book I finished was The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien, which is of course the second book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And I buddy read this whole trilogy with Jessica and Christina at Game of Tomes, and that was a lot of fun. And it's over now. And it's over now. <laughs> but it must have been love. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this uh, kind of unpopular opinion for me, I, I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four stars, but it was actually my least favorite of the series, which I feel like most people like this one the best, but I actually was kind of bored with it because I did not give a fuck about all that stuff with Theoden and the war with Saruman. I was like, where's the ring, though? Where's the ring? But where's the ring, though? <laughs> that ring, though. Although I did love the stuff with Treebeard. I think I just like hobbits. When there, were, when there weren't hobbits involved, I was bored. That's fair. But when it was like with Merry and Pippin, I was into it. And when it was Sam and Frodo, I was into it. But when, when they weren't there, I was like, fuck it. Mm -hmm. Which like a good chunk of this book, they're nowhere to be found. See, that's why I haven't read the books in a long time. Like I don't remember them. So I don't know if the books and the movies are that similar. But that's why I like the second movie, because I feel like it's less hobbity and more like everyone else. Oh, and I don't I care all that much about hobbits. I love the hobbits. I love hobbits. I love Bilbo. I love Bilbo and Sam and Merry and Pippin. And Frodo, eh. Yeah, Frodo's I like, don't like Frodo is Honestly, what it is. Frodo's barely even a character in the book. Yeah. Like, this, like, Sam's more of a main character than Frodo is. Yeah, I just don't like Frodo, I think, is my deal. But anyway. Um... And then the second book I actually finished was Ready Player One. I listened to that on audiobook. Um, it's by Ernest Klein. We did a discussion. Megan never finished it because she hated it, so she DNF'd it. I did not like it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we did a live show. This was our last month's, or this month's, restricted section book. Mm -hmm. um, the Restricted Book Club. I can't remember the name of our own book club. <laughs> the restricted um, something. That was our book club pick for this month and um, so we did a live show where we discussed it if you want to check that out it's like an hour long but basically I was pretty underwhelmed by the book I thought it was I thought the plot was really cool and interesting but I did not like Wade as a character no I didn't either um he's, he was like kind of a douche and like the whole I just also it bothered me how like Halliday, the guy putting on this whole spiel. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like he was kind of portrayed as like a hero at mm -hmm. the end. But I just was like, how fucking narcissistic do you have to be <laughs> to put on this 
hunt, this Easter egg hunt, where people have to learn every little thing about you and all the and things everything you like, you like right. in order to have a chance to win. Like, yeah. how narcissistic. I mean, I feel like you've got a point. Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, hey, I really like whatever movie. You should check it out if you're into, this, into similar things. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to be like, hey, do you want my money? Learn all the things about me. <laughs> yeah. So, wasn't a fan. I still gave it three stars because I was like, that's kind of a neutral rating for me. Because I was like, I didn't hate it, but I was pretty disappointed in it. Yeah, I read like 70 some odd pages, like 79-ish pages of it, and I quit. Alright, and then after I finished that one, I read um, The Return of the King by Tolkien again. And um, I loved this one. This was actually my favorite of the series. Um, yeah, I just... I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like I everyone know. knows the story, so what else can I say? I just... It was great. I want to reread re those, but... I actually cried a little at the end. Oh. That's pretty, pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I want to reread those, but I haven't yet. Uh, so the first book I read in October was The Year of the Flood by Margaret Atwood. This is the second book in the Mad Adam trilogy. Um, this is like set in a um, like post-apocalyptic society. Um, and it's so what I need to know. <laughs> in this book, the first book ties in at some point, and it's pretty cool. Um, but I, you know, I love me a good post-apocalyptic, you know, book, and I love Margaret Atwood. So I'm really liking this series, and I am ready to read the third one. It's good. All right. So now are the rest of the books we're talking about spooky reading challenge. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The rest of the books that we read for this month were for the spooky reading challenge. Yeah. And I finished all three of my books. I, I read my whole PBR for it. Nice. I read two of three. What happens? <laughs> I I stayed true to form and I read two of three. <laughs> October is a busy month for me. All of the Halloween it is. activities. Yeah, it was a busy month, but. I really mostly just started reading here at the end of the month, like the first half, first half of the month, first third, two thirds of the month <laughs> were pretty slow reading wise for me, and then I read these three little short, quick books in succession, and now I'm on another book, and I'm just ready to go, it. reading, reading frenzy. Yeah, I kind of need a slump buster book. <laughs> need a slump buster. Um, so the first book I finished for the Spooky Reading Challenge was Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin. This, uh, I, th I think I used it for the classic, read a classic uh, novel yep. challenge. Um, clearly this is like a modern classic. Um, and didn't love it. Oh. I was pretty disappointed. Um, I thought it was kind of cheesy, <laughs> which I don't mind, like, mm -hmm. I, I, I enjoyed it, like, I thought it was, like, it was kind of, like, I had weird, mixed feelings about it, because it's, like, on the one hand, I thought it was kind of a cheesy, fun read, but then there's, like, a really disturbing rape scene in it, Ooh. so, that kind of, like, Ooh. takes away from the funness of it, <laughs> but it was even still, like, I hesitate to say this, but the rape scene was even kind of cheesy, Oh, you know? Yeah, like, I don't want to say what it is because I feel like if you don't know the story, it would be a total spoiler, but, um, that's pretty fucked up. Yeah, so I wasn't into it. I, I didn't think it was scary at all. Maybe it's because I don't have babies. I've never had a baby. Yeah. Or I don't believe in Satan. I don't know. <laughs> that's <laughs> probably for two good contributing <laughs> factors. I don't know, like... It, I just thought it was kind of silly. Like, it had a lot of, um, I mean, and this was published in, what, 1967, I think, so maybe at the time it wasn't, um, so cliche, but it seemed like it had just, like, a lot of cliche notions of, like, witchcraft and, um, Satan. Like, the, like, this is kind of a spoiler, so skip ahead if you don't want to hear it, but... The baby comes out with freaking horns and a tail. Um, like, that's dumb. <laughs> Come on. Come on. But I also, I gave that one three stars because, I again, I didn't hate it and I did, I did enjoy it and I read it really quickly, but I also was just kind of like, I was just disappointed and was just like, nah. Yeah. 
Come here, Knuckles. Oh, here he is. Mm. Here comes Nugget. Hi. I see on both of us. All right. <laughs> Um, the second book that I read for the Spooky Reading Challenge was Breathers by S.G. Brown. You read it as the first book. <laughs> <laughs> the first book I read for the Spooky Reading Challenge was Breathers by S.G. Brown. Um, I read another book by S.G. Brown called Faded that was a lot of fun, and this one was also a lot of fun. It's about this guy who is a zombie, and like in the world of this book, like it's just kind of a normal thing that some people are zombies. And they're like pariahs of society and people don't care for them and like he lives in his parents basement <laughs> and they don't like him because he's a zombie so they're like you're disgusting why aren't you just dead uh -huh. and uh, so it's kind of about he goes to the support group it's like a like you know they have those like cancer survivor support groups or whatever it's like one of those they go sit in a circle and talk about group. yeah and then it's kind of just about him coming to terms with his zombiness and so oh, right on the mouth. Oh. Right on the mouth. Murphy, <laughs> consent is important. <laughs> but yeah, so I liked it. I gave it four to five stars. It wasn't like a literary work of art by any means, but it was a lot of fun to read. I just liked my cleavage too. Consent is important. We're getting awfully fresh over here. Bubba. <laughs> All right. Um, well, we both read this one, right? Uh, yes, we did. Um, the second one we both finished was *The Haunting of Hill House* by Shirley Jackson. Yes. Um, which is about some people who go to stay in this house that is haunted. that is haunted or something. For what's going on? Fucked up is going on in there. And I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really creepy. Mm -hmm. um, I got a little creeped out when I was mm -hmm. reading. There's a couple scenes in it that I was like, oh, oh god, especially when I was at home alone reading. I was like, every noise in the house. I'm like, yep. There was a couple, I was trying to read it before bed one night. I was like laying in bed trying to read it. And, uh, I got you, buddy. <laughs> and I had to stop and go to, like, well, put it down because it was yeah. creeping me out. Yeah, I liked it. I gave it four stars. Okay, I thought it was pretty darn good. Nugget, you're gonna fall down. Nuggles. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you're a mess. <laughs> Dude, you're trying to star and <laughs> buddy. It's Megan Sue and Murphy in the restricted section. Are you trying to actually get all the way on the you table? You can't get on the table. <laughs> Stop. Not like I can. <laughs> I can though. Murphy. <laughs> Nugget. Alright, so the last book that I finished for the Spooky Reading Thon Reading a Thon Reading Challenge. Spooky Reading Challenge. Oh, and we read thon. The Haunting of Hill House. We read for a book about a haunting. Yes. Right? Yes. And then this one I read for a book about a monster. Mm -hmm. And I read Bird Box by Josh Mallerman which is about um, a woman who has to take her kids like 20 miles down river in a rowboat, but they have to do it blindfolded because there's something outside that if you look at it will make you go insane and kill yourself. And um, this, I fucking love this book. <laughs> it was I good. I actually gave it five stars because oh, wow. I like really thoroughly enjoyed it. Wow. And it was really fucking creepy. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know what else to say about it. It was, it was really, really fucking creepy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I liked it a lot also. I didn't read it for this, but I really liked it. Yeah, it was like, it definitely lived up to the hype to me because everyone said they loved it and I, they were, everyone was right. Everyone it's was great. right. It is good. I really liked it. Yeah. to burp. Uh, Excuse me. And uh, that's all we read in October. Yeah. Because I highly doubt that I'll finish the book I'm reading now by the end of October, which is tomorrow. Right. Yeah, I haven't started another book because I'm kind of waiting. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I need a good slump buster. Yeah. Read uh, Rosemary's Baby. It was a really quick read. <laughs> that's, well, Breathers was too. Like, Breathers was a really fast read. I think I read it in a day or maybe two. I think two days. And it was like super fun. So I thought that would maybe 
and going. But yeah. Then, yeah. I don't know. I've been a reading fiend here the last few days. Because I read, like, most of this Sunday and then also read a really big chunk of the book I'm reading right now. <laughs> right now I'm reading the book of Lost Things, which I meant to read way earlier, um, but didn't. <laughs> but didn't. I'm like 155 pages into it. And it's not bad. It's w way darker than I anticipated. Dark for a YF. AF. For a YA novel about a 12 year old boy. It's like, this shit is fucked up, man. Going to some fucked up places. Yeah. But it's a really quick read and it's kind of fun in a dark, twisted way. You know, kind of like Rosemary's Baby, I guess. <laughs> kind of, you know, fun but <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, this um, this beer's good. Yeah, it's, I like uh, it. I wouldn't say it's like anything super special or... It's nothing to write home about, but you know, it's a nice, easy drinking beer. And yeah, it's really light and refreshing. Yeah, it's crisp and... So... Yeah. GFB. If you like light, crisp, refreshing beers, give it a go. Give it a go. <clears throat> but yeah, so that was our wrap-up slash spooky reading challenge wrap-up. Yep. Yep. So as usual, there's going to be some links down below where you can find us elsewhere on social media. And if you have not subscribed yet, please do. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.